Pastor Menet, sometimes we like keeping these records. Iri mwenye hayuko, aweze kupata ujube na itakuwa ni mzuri. Yeah, so the most unfortunate thing, sorry, itakuwa kama utaachwa nyuma. And it takes our response to God kupokea kile alicho nacho kwa sababu yetu. Sijui ni siku gani nikasema ya kwamba some of the things ambazo tunahitaji kwake Mungu they were released to us many many years ago when Jesus died on the cross. Na akasema it is finished. There is so much that was released na ili tuweze kupokea. And the only thing that imebaki ni wewe ku respond kwa imani kwa kile ambacho Kristo ameshaashiria. Bwana asifiwe. God is not going to manufacture your healing after you are, you get sick. Your healing was already released on Calvary. It is your faith to get to receive and to partake that which has already been released for you. Praise the name of the Lord. And there's so much that God has done. It is only that our faith, our commitment, our availability to be where God is doing that which he needs to do is lacking. Na ombi langu ni ya kwamba tutajitoa, tutajitoa kikamilifu na ili tuweze kupatikana na kupokea kile ambacho Mungu alicho nacho juu yetu. I want to take a few minutes uh, because we have the business meeting na um, naomba zote tutakawia everybody will get a report wale ambao uh, wamejiunga nasi maybe during the year na tuliwakaribisha i also noted ya kwamba when i was away there also quite a number of people ambao wameanza kukuja na wakajiunga nasi the moment you make a decision ya ya, ya kuwa mmoja wetu let us know you can you can let me know you can let pastor kamau know you can let our, our sister deaconess uh, mrs kahiro know you can let our elder gishuru know unamwambia tu nimekuwa nikija kutoka match nimekuwa nikija kutoka wakati huu na sasa nimekata kauri kuwa mmoja wenu bwana asifiwe and this bulletin has, has, has our number has my number and that of pastor kamau na kwa hivyo ukitufahamisha or you just uh, book an appointment let's sit and talk so that we officially welcome you to this fellowship na tukikukaribisha ili tuweze kuadamana pamoja maana ni vizuri watu kuwa bwana asifiwe unajua ni surprise mtoto akizaliwa kwa familia na wenye wako kwa familia hawajui unakuta mtoto mzima unamuuliza wewe ni wanani ni gire wako wanyu you know it's it's not it's not it's not very it's it's good for you the moment you make a decision ya kwamba utakuwa member wa hii kanisa just let us know so that we welcome you officially we, we come you come uh, here we give you a heart of a uh, 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 fellowship na itakuwa ni muhimu so everybody will get a report ambayo iko na mambo ya vile ambavyo tuli perform mwaka uliopita and na road map ya 2022 na mambo ambayo tunatarajia kuyafanya na vile ambavyo tunajipaga kuendelea na naamini yakoba tabarikiwa we won't take long so please let us all remain behind i believe we have enough reports for each and every one of us na tutabarikiwa tunapofanya hivyo praise the name of the lord um, on sunday nika we, we talked about our identity in christ because there are five things abazo tulisema ni za muhimu uh, as we think about manifesting christ the light na moja yake tukasema is clarity of our identity in christ kuwa na ufafanuzi kuelewa vizuri sisi ni nani katika Kristo and we started talking about that and i want to just finish on that and then we uh, we will next next sunday we will get to another item so on sunday uh, i finished by uh, after giving about four things ambazo ni signs za mtu ambaye ako na identity crisis uh, as a believer you know there are many believers who are who are going through identity crisis na tukasema ya kwamba ya kwanza is that this person becomes envious of other people especially evil doers ana anaangalia watu ambao hawajaokoka na katika moyo wake anahisi ya kwamba they are better off than himself or herself na unapata ya kwamba when when you get there unaingia katika realm ya identity crisis kama muumini and when you get into an identity crisis as a believer inakuwa vigumu sana sio tu ku manifest Christ the light bahari kupokea because you can't claim that which belongs 
to you kwa maana haujielewi identity crisis ni hali ya kutojielewa jambo la pili nikasema ya kwamba they start conforming to the patterns of this world wanaanza kufanya mambo vile ulimwengu unavyofanya maana wanaona kama nikifanya vile dunia inafanya yawezekana nitafaidika zaidi na unapata ni kwa sababu amerus focus yeye ni nani katika imani na kwa sababu ya kurus focus yeye ni nani katika imani hiyo inamfanya ajaribu kufanya tu vitu tuingine huko it is like the prodigal son maana huyu mtoto hata you know one thing that you realize is that there is nothing that can take away that right of a son praise the name of the lord it is you who when you get into that identity crisis by virtue of not understanding wewe ni nani unajinyima you find yourself in a place where you deny yourself the privileges that you ought to enjoy na kwa hivyo hata kama huyu mtoto alikuwa amechukua mali ya baba yake na akaenda akaitumia vibaya na akaenda akaitupa kuwa mwana haikuondoka kwa sababu ya hilo jabu praise the name of the lord because we don't become sons of god because of things that we do we become sons of god because we have been birthed in the family of god through faith bwana sifiwe tumezaliwa katika jamii ya mungu kwa imani na kwa hivyo huyu kijana akiwa pale na nguruwe na kutamani kura chakula cha nguruwe akafikiria ya kwamba kwa sababu ya matendo haya yangu nimepoteza nafasi yangu kama mwana katika ile familia na kwa hivyo akasema nitarejea kwa baba yangu na nitamwambia usinihesabu in fact kwanza alisema si kuna wafanyikazi kuna watumwa wameajiriwa kwa nyumba ya baba yangu na wanakula wanashiba so a son gets into an identity crisis and he starts comparing himself to the slaves in the family that is a very big danger bwana asifiwe na kwa hivyo akasema ya kwamba nitarudi kwa baba yangu nimwambie nimekosa mbinguni na duniani na sihitaji kuitwa unaona sio baba anamwambia ati wewe hutakiwi kuwa mwana wangu tena ni yeye anasema nitaenda nimwambie si sifai kuitwa mwana wako tena nifanye kama mmoja wa and there are some of us who are believers who have done that they, they, they have they, they have dethroned themselves wamejiondoa mahali Mungu amewaweka na wamejiweka mahali ambapo si pao na kwa sababu ya kujiondoa katika meza ya mankuri ya watoto wa mfalme wanakulia katika meza ya watumwa wanakulia katika meza ambayo hawatakiwi kuwa and therefore this message is to help you identify as a son in the kingdom ni wapi ambapo nahitajika kuwa ni kiketi na Biblia inasema alipokuwa anakuja baba yake akamuona akiwa bali baba yake alipomuona akaona yule ni mwanangu praise the name of the lord because his actions had not dethroned him alikuwa amekufa na sasa yuhai alikuwa amepotea na sasa amepatikana and the father acted from his position as a father towards the son jitarisheni kabla afike shikeni mwana kodoa madama tarisheni hii nileteni nguo nileteni pete ni mvishe kwa sababu he is a son praise the name of the lord because there are some of us who are living in guilt there are some of us kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo tumeyapitia mambo ambayo tumeyafanya tumeona ni kama kwamba Mungu ametuona tukua waovu sana Mungu ametuona tukua watu hawafai bere zake na tumejiodoa katika nafasi ya wana wa Mungu. Na kwa hivyo tunaanza ku, ku, kuta, kutazama ni vipi ulimwengu unaishi. Ni vipi the servants in my father's house are living so that I may live like that. So we said an identity crisis will drive you to conform to the patterns of this world. Pia tukasema ya kwamba uh, another sign ya kwamba unakuwa ashamed of your faith. Unaanza kuaibika kwa sababu ya imani yako. Hautaki watu wajue umeokoka. Hautaki you know we are not manifesting Christ the light in the church. Hapa muangaza huko tayari. Bwana asifiwe. Tuna manifest Christ the light mahali ambapo kuna giza. Hapa tayari kuna muangaza. Kwa wale walioamini tayari wamepokea muangaza. Muangaza huu tunauangaa mahali ambapo kuna giza. 
but many of us are bold about our faith mahali ambapo kuna mwangaza but the moment we go to the darkness mahali ambapo tunatakiwa kuangaa mwangaza tunaanza kuaibika tunaanza kujiuliza watanionaje watanifikiria namna gani but i want to say that we must manifest christ the light even when we go so we should never feel shy or be ashamed of our faith na tukasema they give and due attention to other people's opinion about themselves wacha niongeze mmoja alafu tuingie kwa sharing ya um, ya leo number five is that they try to gain righteousness through religious acts ukianza kutazama kufikiria kwamba ya kwamba Mungu ata, atanitendea ataniona kama ni mwanawe atanifanyia hili kwa sababu ya matendo fulani ambayo ninayafanya kwa sababu ya kufunga kura na kunywa kufunga kura na kunywa ni ibada na tunatoa hiyo ibada kwa sababu kwa sababu tushafanyika wana wana asifiwe we, we don't do the things that we do to become we do the things that we do because we have already become Praise the name of the Lord. When you think that you can earn the favor of God by tithing, when you think that you can earn the favor of God by you know coming to church, when you think you can earn the favor of God kwa kuhubiri, kwa kufanya hili na lile, kile kinachofanyika ni ya kwamba unaingia identity crisis. Nasemi hayo mambo hayatakiwi kufanywa. Hayo mambo huwa yanafanywa kwa sababu tushakuwa. Bwana asifiwe. Na nimepeana mfano hapa na wakati mwingine napeana mfano hata wa mtoto wangu. Ya kwamba there is nothing that Jeremy can do to become my son. By bathing him he already became my son. Praise the name of the Lord. Lakini mambo yale anafanya anayafanya kwa sababu ashakuwa mwanangu. Haniti ili awe mwanangu. Ananiti kwa sababu yeye ni mwanangu. Kwa hivyo tunapofunga kura na kunywa hatufungi ili tuwe. Tunafunga kwa sababu tushakuwa. And therefore we are just acting like who we are. And therefore you cannot earn the place of being a son of God. You cannot earn the place of being the righteousness of God. You cannot earn the place of being an ambassador of Christ. You cannot earn the place of being a minister of reconciliation. Kile kinachofanyika ni kwamba kwa sababu ushakuwa balozi, kwa sababu Mungu ameshakufanya a minister of reconciliation, then now go and reconcile. It is not the act of reconciling that makes you a minister of reconciliation. It is the declaration of your father in heaven that made you. Praise the name of the Lord. Na kwa hivyo matendo yetu ni matendo ya kujukumika kama watu ambao tayari wamefanyika. Kwa hivyo sio matendo ya kutufanya. Hauwezi kuan please katika ufalme wa Mungu kwa kutenda matendo Bwana asifiwe lakini kwa sababu ushakuwa mtoto katika ufalme basi unapata ya kwamba matendo yana flow without any charge una ukutoa si lazima usukumiwe Bwana asifiwe ndio kuna watu wengine wanakuja kanisa hili letu wanashaga hawa watu wanasawaga sadaka tu hivyo hakuna mtu anasimamaka kusoma fazi kuna mtu anasimamaka kuambia watu kwa nini wanatoa kwa sababu ukishakuwa mwana matendo yanayotarajiwa ya mwana matendo yanayotarajiwa ya muumini matendo yanayotarajiwa yanatakiwa kuflow without kusukumiwa bwana asifiwe hausamehei watu ili ufanyike unasamehea watu kwa sababu umefanyika that is your nature yakoba mtu akikukosea nature yako ni kusame ni kusamehe And so the time you feel like una, and, and you know there are times when we make mistakes and many of us have and I don't say this because myself I'm too perfect we keep learning wakati ambapo tunaendea bere zake Mungu na kwa sababu ya kitu ambacho tunakitarajia kutoka kwake tunamwanza kumnaletia mambo yale tumemfanyia what are we doing we are making god like we are making him like he is a debtor ni kama akona deni yetu eh Unajua kuna watu hata kuna mtu hata actually nimhubiri na Mungu atuhurumie. Alikuwa anasema kuna mtu alikuja akaniambia magojo haya magojo haya yamekuwa yakinifuata nikamuuliza unatoaga fugura kumi? Akaniambia hatoagi nikamwambia da utoa utapona. Huwezi pona kwa sababu ya kutoa fugura kumi. Tunapona kwa imani kwa sababu Kristo alipopigwa mijeredi hakupigwa mijeredi alafu tulipaga na fugu ya kumi hiyo mijeredi ili tupone. Ama Biblia yako inasema hivyo. Bwana asifiwe. 
Biblia inasema by his stripes we are healed. And even wakati Yesu alikuwa hapa ulimwenguni hakuna mtu aliyekuwa akiwa mgojwa akaulizwa je umetoa fungu la 10 na sisi msitoe fungu la 10 hapa tunahitaji pesa sana hata tunaharakisha kwa sababu hatuna pesa ya kuanunulia chakula tunataka mwende nyumbani mkakule nyumbani <laughs> bwana asifiwe niliuliza elder kenyu hapa ambaye anatuwekea mahesabu ya pesa tukamuuliza sadi si tupatie watu karanji kasema hakuna so ule pesa mle bwana asifiwe eh pesa mlete lakini you cannot gain righteousness you cannot you cannot earn a place in the kingdom of god by virtue of your acts religious acts we act the way we act because we have become bwana asifiwe na kwa hivyo napojua identity yangu napojua mimi ni mwana wa mungu there are things that will flow without being pushed Let me talk about four things that we share um, in the nature no we share in Christ the four things kwa sababu this identity yetu kama waumini ambayo inatusaidia remember maneno yetu ni mawili Yohana nane mstari wa mbili Yesu Kristo anasema I am the light of the world and anyone who follows me will never walk in darkness Bwana asifiwe. Alafu Mathayo 5:14 anasema you are the light of the world. So amesema I am the light of the world. Then anatana anasema you are the light of the world. And we are asking ourselves how then can Christ say he is the light of the world? Then turn the same finger and point unto us and say you are the light of the world. Then kuna kitu ambacho tunagawana kuna kitu ambacho ameweka ndani yetu ambacho kimetufanya kama yeye Bwana asifiwe ya kwamba kama yeye ni mwangaza kama yeye ndiye nuru ya ulimwengu then kuna kitu ambacho amekifanya na kwa sababu ya hicho kitu ambacho amekifanya tumekuwa kama yeye And that is why understanding your identity as a believer inakuwa ya muhimu sana katika ku manifest Christ the light. And there are four things that we share with Christ that drives us there. The first one is that we we share in his nature. We share in the nat- nature of Christ. We are sharing in the nature of Christ. Na Biblia inasema katika Wahebrania tatu, if we go there. Wahebrania tatu. hardened through the deceitfulness of sin for we have become partakers of Christ praise the name of the lord we have become partakers the other versions that will say we have become partakers of the nature of Christ we have become partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast to the end and, and and even if we get up to there we have become partakers in his nature and tunaponena juu ya becoming partakers in his nature we are really talking about becoming partakers in which nature the nature of divinity ya kwamba tumekuwa washirika katika uungu wake kristo na diposa nimekuwa nikawaambia ya kwamba wakati ambapo ulipookoka there is a shift that took place katika maisha yako kuma mabadiliko yaliyopatikana na ukazaliwa and that is why we use the term kuzaliwa tena maana ulikuwa kuna mahali ulimokuwa unaishi kuna vile ulivyokuwa unaishi kuna vile ulikuwa unapenda mambo kuna vile ulikuwa unafikiria lakini sasa ukazaliwa katika ulimwengu mwingine na katika huu ulimwengu ambao ulizaliwa kuna mabadiliko ya hali yako ya jinsia ambayo ilifanyika 
And so mtu ambaye ameamini they do not share the same nature na watu ambao hawajaamini. Bwana asifiwe. They don't share, share the same nature. Na na diposa tunaweza ku, kukuwa partakers hata wa vipawa vya Mungu. Tunaweza kuwa partakers wa vitu ambavyo wengine hawezi kuelewa ni vipi ambavyo tunaweza kuwa partakers. Na nikasema katika ile hali yetu Biblia inasema Yesu yuko ndani yetu na sisi tuko ndani yake. So there is a way we have been transformed. Paulo akasema mahali tulisoma siku ya Sunday ya kwamba sio mimi ninayeishi tena bali ni Kristo anayeishi ndani yangu. Bwana asifiwe. So why would I lay my hands on people and they get healed? It is because there is divinity within me. Bwana asifiwe. I've been allowed to partake the nature of Christ have been allowed to to, to partake and, and the perfection of that Peter anasema kwamba we do not know how things will be at the end but one thing we know is that when he appears we will be exactly as he is Bwana asifiwe Na kwa hivyo mtu anapookoka ni safari yeye huanza of becoming ni safari yeye huanza ya kuwa kama Kristo na Kristo atakaporejea kile kitakachofanyika ni kwamba that journey will be perfected we will be exactly as he is The question you have to keep asking yourself ni je to what extent am I becoming nimekuwa mpaka kiwango kipi kujitwika ile nature ya Kristo And sometimes you look at the th- normal things that happens to you. The issues of compassion. Kama Kristo alipoona watu walio na jaa, what drove him was compassion. To what extent am I driven by compassion? Kama watu walipomfanyia mambaya, wakamrushia, uh, wakamsurubisha msalabani, wakipigilia misumari, akasema baba wasamehe maana hawajui walifanyalo. To what extent have I grown and gone into that direction of partaking that nature of Christ? Because there is always a fight. Kuna vita kati ya ndani yetu. Kuna hiyo nature ya Kristo ambayo inachukua nafasi. And it want to occupy as much as it can in us. Na kuna nature ya wanadamu ambayo ndio ilikuwa imeoccupy 100% of us kabra ya tuokoke. Na kwa hivyo tunapokuwa kama wakristo as we grow as believers kinachofanyika ni ya kwamba the nature of Christ is dethroning the flesh is dethroning the other nature and there are two things that can happen growth as a believer is when the nature of Christ continues dethroning the flesh continues dethroning hii nature ya ulimwengu mpaka unapata ya kwamba you have no struggles doing that which Christ did you have no struggles being like Christ is but there is a danger kuna watu ambao huwa wana drift na hiyo ndio nilisema inaitwa backsliding that nature ya Kristo wanapookoka inaanza kuondoa nature ya umwili unapata kuna vitu mwili huu litamani but now kinachokusukuma tu ni ni, ni nature ya Kristo kwa nini dugu yetu dilangu aseme ya kwamba hata kama leo ningeenda kazini na nitengeneze pesa kuna msukumo ndani yangu unaoniambia ya kwamba nienende katika nyumba ya Mungu nipate wakati wa, wa kuabudu tu bwana asifiwe mwili huu katika logical sense yake unataka kuwa nyumbani umefurahia unataka kuwa nyumbani ukitazama runinga unataka kuwa nyumbani ukila na kunywa lakini nature yake Kristo iliyo ndani yetu inatusukumia inatusukumia kuenenda mahali ambapo tutapata ushirika naye Mungu tutapata ushirika you know in the morning this body desires to just sleep desires to just enjoy that nap but the nature of Christ in us desires to go to a place of worship desires to rise up and read the word desires to rise up and get onto the knees and cry to God na kwa hivyo unapata ya kwamba when these two natures are in us the question we ask ourselves is which is becoming stronger than which ni gani ina, ina shida ingine? Na mtu ambaye ameruhusu nature yake Kristo 
kwa sababu ya kujielewa ichukue nafasi kubwa katika maisha yake hawatawahi struggle ku make decisions kati ya kuwa katika kumwabudu Bwana na kuwa katika kufurahisha mwili hawatakuwa na shida kushidana na majaribu yanayokuja katika maisha yao kazi ikija kazi ambayo wanajua itawazuia ku manifest Christ the light hawana shida ku make your decision kwa sababu the supreme nature in them is the nature of Christ that they are partakers lakini kuna wengine ambao na ni wakristo pia they are still growing hopefully lakini unapata ya kwamba nature ya, 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 ya umwili huu is the one that dominates them and if they have to conquer temptation and they rarely conquer those temptations ita itabidi wa, wasukumiwe wasukumie sana itabidi wapigane na wakati mwingine unless power na mwingine aliye strong awashike mkono hawataweza kufaulu bwana asifiwe na kwa hivyo unapata ya kwamba yes we are sharing in the nature of Christ but the things that drove Christ are not the ones that drive us Every morning he rose up and he, he, he went to have fellowship with his father. Even when the disciples are looking for him, ameenda kuomba, ameenda kutafuta Mungu wake. Usiku mzima anamuomba ana Mungu. Alipoingia kila mahali, kilichomsukumia ni, ku, ni, ni kushare neno, ni kuwaombea watu uponyaji, ni kuwaombea watu wakobolewe. And when it comes to the disciples, the same thing happens. Yakob Paulo akiingia katika kila mji, Biblia inasema as was his custom, he went into the synagogue. What would be your custom? What would be your custom? Because if you are sharing in the nature of Christ, then the things that drove Christ are the things that are expected to drive you. Praise the name of the Lord. Jabra Piri is that we share in the privileges of Christ. In our identity, in the people who we have become, in the shifting ambayo it take praise, wakati ambapo tulimwamini Kristo, we share in the privileges of Christ. And some of them are the things that I'm mentioning that Christ is the son of God. Lakini akasema ya kwamba whoever believes in me receives power to cry out Abba Father. What as if you Abba is 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 a is, is a it is an intimate title for a father. What as if you You know Many can call me father. Praise the name of the Lord. But you will find there are levels to those because there are many people who call me father. I don't tell anyone to call me father, but I find many people calling me daddy. Um and there are levels of calling somebody father. What as if you The way you may call me father, the way the people I mentor call me father, is very different even amongst them but it's also very different from the way my son Jeremiah calls me father or my daughter Purity calls me father or my daughter Gianna calls me father bwana asifiwe and Jesus is saying that although the world would look at unto God and call him our father for you who have believed for you who have come to me and believe the things that I've told you you are receiving power bwana asifiwe hampokea ituruhusa mnapokea nguvu not only to call but to cry out it is a privilege praise the name of the lord many of you can call me father but you cannot cry out father but if jiana cries out father he mic na iweka chini kwanza Si mnajua hivyo naweza fanya. Eh? Kai, mtikwalia. Bwana asifiwe. Si mnajua jiana akilia hapa mimi nitaweka hii mic chini. Kwa sababu there is a difference and Jesus, the, you receive power and sometimes if you understand some of these things. And then Jesus in no it is Paul who is writing in Romans chapter 8 verse 17 he is saying we don't only become sons we have become heirs and we have not only become heirs we have become co heirs ha praise the name of the lord ya kwamba hatujachukua tu watu wa kurithi 
sababu unaweza kuwa tu mtu wa kurithi lakini ni wa kurithi tu like there are people ambao wataandika will zao na waandike waridhishe watoto wao mali yao ile kubwa 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 then hapo chini waseme na fulani apewe ile saa yangu ya mkononi sababu sasa hapo umekuwa heya lakini watoto wa nyumbani wamepewa mashaba, wamepewa magari, wamepewa manyumba na wewe umepewa saa ya mkononi. So unakuwa heya. Lakini hapa inasema ya kwamba hatuja kuwa warithi tu, bali tuna tumekuwa warithi wa shirika. Tumeshirikishwa katika ule urithi pamoja na Kristo. Praise the name of the Lord. And so when we talk tunaongea na authority si authority ambayo haiko founded ni kwa sababu tume tumekubalishwa we are sharing in the privileges of Christ that whatever is Christ's is ours we can partake of it without feeling shy we can ask of it Bwana asifiwe. Na diposa Kristo anasema ya kwamba as the father has sent me so I send you. So my sending you is equivalent to the sending that the father has sent me with. Hallelujah. Ya kwamba mimi si watumi mimi si watumi mimi na na watuma vile ambavyo nimetumwa. Na kwa hivyo kile ambacho nimepewa katika kutumwa kwangu nanyi nawapatia kwa maana kuwatuma ninyi sio kuwatuma tu ni vile ambavyo nilivyotumwa so we are partaking in the privileges of Christ Kristo akasema ya kwamba mkiwa na imani hamtatenda tu haya ninayo ya tenda bali mtatenda hata zaidi why because he is allowing us to partake in his privileges praise the name of the lord number three is that we have been allowed to share in the mind of christ we are sharing in the mind of christ wa korintho wa piri biri mustari wa 16 second corinthians 2 verse 16 that we we share in the mind of Christ you know second corinthians 2 from verse 9 there all that has been very key for me towards the end of last year as we talk about a revelation a revelation powered life that things that people have not seen things that people have not had things that people have not perceived is what the lord has kept for his righteous ones and those things the holy spirit has revealed to us bwana asifiwe zimevunuliwa kwetu na roho mtakatifu na biblia inaendelea kusema kwa sababu roho tuliyempokea ni roho wake mungu na nani ajuae mawazo yake mungu isipokuwa ni roho wake ambaye tumempokea ndani yetu bwana asifiwe na alafu paulo anaandika na anatoa another great revelation anasema na sisi tuko na the might and maybe we should just read that second corinthians 2:16 a very powerful thing Unaendaje Sit second all one I think it's first Corinthians let's check first Corinthians thank god nimeangalia hapo it's first Corinthians yes not second yeah it's first Corinthians so verse 16 is saying for who has known the mind of the lord that he may instruct him but we have the mind of Christ praise the name of the lord we have, we have the mind of Christ and, and and what this is bringing out and you can read the whole of um, of of that chapter um and and see what it it brings out um, in terms of liberation the spirit we have received that spirit being able to search the thoughts of god and it is by virtue of receiving that spirit that we have received the mind of Christ that vile ambavyo tunafikiria tunafikiria kama Kristo 
hatufikiri kama wanadamu wa kawaida that is our identity bwana asifiwe na vile ambavyo tunafikiria ndio ambayo hupawa hutuongoza katika matendo tunayo yatenda unaponitazama and, and, and it's good to check our, our thinking because many times our thinking will reveal the condition of our hearts that when you see people what what do you think what what kind of thoughts do you pay attention to whether it is in times of crisis whether it is in times of ni, ni, ni mambo gani ambayo mawazo yako inakaa sana juu yake so we share in the mind of Christ allow me to move a little bit faster kwa sababu ya time let me just mention the last one there is that we share in his suffering we share in his suffering and that is important kwa sababu many believers have never come to that point where they feel that suffering is sharing and is part of their identity that mwito wangu na imani ambayo ilinizaa katika imani ndani ya hiyo imani wakati mwingine ni afflictions paulo hapo katika warumi i think ni warumi 8 mstari wa 17 anapoongea juu ya sharing ama kuwa wana na kuwa coheirs in Christ actually anasema one of the would it be almost like a justification why we have become that is because we share in his sufferings we share in his sufferings hapo Romans 8 uh, Romans 8:17 Um, 17 nasema And if children then heirs heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ if indeed we suffer with him and we may also be glorified together with him praise the name of the lord and because i'll be talking about following Christ and what demands are there when we are following Christ then i won't say much there but you can also go and read the book of 1 Peter 4:13 Let me just bring to you briefly five levels of actualizing our identity in Christ. Viwango vitano vya kuafikia ukamilifu wa kuelewa sisi ni nani katika imani. Five levels of actualizing our identity in Christ. Just simple levels. Level ya kwanza naiita the knowledge level ni levo ya ufahamu ya kwamba ninajua mimi ni mwana wa Mungu ninajua mimi ni barozi katika ufalme ninajua i am a king and a priest ninajua ya kwamba maloyo priesthood ninajua ya kwamba mimi ni mtakatifu so it is the level of knowledge na Hosea akasema ya kwamba katika Hosea 4 mstari wa kwanza my people perish for lack of knowledge So level ya kwanza ni level ya knowledge. And one of the things ambayo mwaka huu lazima tufanye ni kutafuta ufahamu. Na nikasema ya kwamba nilipokuwa naanza that God has a high opinion of you and he has documented that opinion in his word. Ya kwamba Mungu anakufikiria. You know our sister alipokuwa hapa akasema ya kwamba kuna mtu mkubwa alikuja kumtafuta na yeye akasema ni mdogo. Lakini yeye ni mtu mkubwa sana. Bwana asifiwe. Praise the name of the Lord. We are big people. Especially when we are in the kingdom. So God has a very high opinion of you. And that opinion is documented where you cannot actualize what you do not know. So it starts with knowing. So the first level is the level of knowledge. The second level is what I call the understanding level. Ni, ni kiwango cha kuelewa sasa e, ni ukweli yes biblia imesema katika Yohana Yohana wa kwanza tatu ya kwamba oneni ni upedo oneni oneni ni jina la Kiswahili <laughs> odei oneni oneni ni upedo wa aina gani ambao Mungu ametupenda nao ya kwamba tumefanyika wana wake Mungu hiyo ni kuru umefahamu umefanyika wana Levo ya understanding inauliza inamaanisha nini kuwa mwana Praise the name of the Lord And there are many of us wamekwama katika level ya knowledge Ukiwauliza wewe ni nani watakwambia hata spoken word I am a son of God I'm a loyal priesthood I am a king and a priest I am an ambassador of 
Christ. I am a minister of reconciliation. I am redeemed. I am delivered. I am washed. I am sanctified. I have been set free. No weapon formed again. Anasema hayo maboyote. Ni kujua anajua. Lakini ukimuliza inamaanisha nini? Bwana sifiwe. Kama Revelation Yohana naonyeshwa na nasema ya kwamba we are a kingdom of kings and priests. Kama Petero anaandika anasema ya kwamba we are a loyal priesthood inamaanisha nini? This combination and I think I will invite uh, Pastor Harrison to come and speak to us. He released a, a book recently about um, kings and priests. And you know that it, 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 there's a lot of emphasis of loyalty, royalty, see your loyalty, royalty, najua wakati mwingine kutofautisha ni ngumu. Royalty na priesthood. Ya kwamba sisi ni, ni makuhani wa kifalme. Kwa hivyo kuna aspect za za kifalme katika mwito wetu na kuna aspect za kikuhani katika mwito wetu. Na ni vipi ambavyo aspect za kikuhani na za kifalme zinakuja pamoja na alafu ni vipi ambavyo um, I don't know who I was listening to na alikuwa ananena juu ya the origin of the word ecclesia. Ecclesia which is the word abayo ina inaleta um, ina ina ni Greek word abayo dio jina church the church was called ecclesia na kasema ecclesia ilikuwa ni community ilikuwa ni not si community is an assembly abayo ilikutana na na, na ku make sheria ambazo zitatumika na alikuwa anasema ya kwamba if we understand clearly who the church is especially from the aspect of priests who are royal who are who are kingly then you tapate kwamba we would know that we are the rulers of this world we would not bow down to politicians bwana sifiwe hatuwezi na mia watawara wa ulimwengu huu na sisi tumefanywa watawara naye Mungu so that is the level of understanding unaelewa vizuri inamaanisha nini kama Biblia imesema you are an ambassador ina, that is the level of understanding the third level is the believing level the believing level ya kuamini level ya ya, ya, ya kukubali huyo ni mimi Bwana asifiwe ya kwamba nimesikia kumesemekana mtu ambaye ameamini Mungu yeye ni king na priest na nimeelewa huyu ni kuhani anayetawara sio kutawara tu liam ya kiroho ni kutawara mpaka liam ya hapa duniani maana utawara wa rohoni unaadhiri utawara wa ulimwenguni nimeelewa hivyo na baada ya kuelewa ninaamini huyo ni mimi many of us have wanaweza kuwa wamekaribia level ya knowledge wamefika knowledge lakini hawajaamini wakijiangalia hawaoni ni vipi ambavyo wanaweza kuwa hicho ambacho kimeandikika katika Biblia wakiangalia vile wameishi maisha yao wakiangalia vile walitabika 2021 wakiangalia vile watu wanavyowaongea vile watu wanaofiwafanyia mambo hawaamini inaadhiri imani yao so yes they have the, the knowledge yes they have the understanding but they have not believed that for themselves Praise the name of the Lord. Wanaamini ndio wanatakiwa kupokea baraka za Mungu katika maisha yao. Lakini kwa sababu hawajaamini hizo baraka hawawezi kuzipokea. So, level ya believing ni ya muhimu sana. And I hope we can get some times during the year to break down some of these things because there are many of us who are suffering not because we should be suffering it's because we have not believed. Na sio tu kwa mabaya rohoni ni hata kwa mabaya hapa duniani kuna watu ambao hawakulipia watoto wao karo ya shule watoto walipokuwa narudi shule na si kwa sababu Mungu hakuachilia karo ni kwa sababu ya kutoamini wala sifiwe na kutoamini kwao kumetokana na identity crisis katika maisha yao kuna watu wanalala jaa sio kwa sababu Ravens hazijaachiliwa na Mungu kuwaletea nyama ni kwa sababu hawajafika level ya kuamini kuna watu bado wanakodesha manyumba and they should have been in their houses 10 years ago. But it is simply because they never got to the level of believing. 
you can never partake if you don't believe bwana asifiwe in fact biblia inasema yule ambaye haamini asifikirie anaweza kupokea chochote kutoka kwa Mungu imagine ya kwamba kama huamini usifikirie unaweza kupokea chochote kutoka kwa Mungu and this is very very important for you hata kama ni hii biblia utai, utaisoma uirudie uirudie mpaka uamini because the bible says that believing come faith comes by hearing faith does not come by praying you don't pray to have faith you look for opportunities to hear Bwana asifiwe. Kuna watu walikuwa hapa Friday. Saa hii wako na imani kali sana kwa sababu walisikia. Kuna wengine walikataa kukuja. Of course kuna wengine hawage kuja kama yanajenga kwa sababu walikuwa mahali. But ninapoangalia news of scene unaona wengine mlikataa tu. Ni TV tu mlikuwa mnaona. Na kwa sababu mlikataa kuja kusikia imani yenu bado iko dhaifu kwa sababu imani huja kwa kusiki imani huja kwa kusikia na kusikia hili neno imani haikuji kwa kupiga magoti na kuomba huja kwa kusikia praise the name of the lord faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of god and therefore you must create opportunities to hear you read to hear you attend meetings to hear you listen to sermons to hear unasikiza huo ujumbe unatumwa kwa whatsapp Unasema nataka niusikie tena na tena na tena maana nataka imani ipatikane. Praise the name of the Lord. Lakini wengine wetu the kind of faith inayokuja ni faith ya kihejo maana kihejo ndio tunasikizaga 24/7. Hmm? You know what you is what you hear is the kind of faith that develops. Ile umekuwa ukisikia kila wakati ni vile ambavyo kuna shida, ni vile ambavyo biashara haziwezi endelea, ni vile ambavyo familia inaweza anguka, ni vile ambavyo marriages are not working and because that is what you have been hearing, that is the faith that has come. And so unapotembea, unatembea ukisema ah sikuizi hakuna marriage inaweza work, hakuna marriage inaweza work. Maana hiyo na, na unajua maana hiyo ndio imani uko nayo yako inaanguka tu. Haikuanguka kwa sababu Mungu alikusudia ianguke. Hamkuachana kwa sababu Mungu alikusudia muachane. Ime, imeanguka kwa sababu imani uliyojenga kile ulichosikiza ni hicho. Lakini unapokuja unasikia hii inakuambia kwamba God hates divorce. Unaposikiza marriages ambazo zimewak people who've been married for 50 years, 40 years, 30 years and they have been together and they have held together that is what develops in you so what are you listening to get to the level of believing praise the name of the lord the fourth level is the level of living the level of living kuishi the living level kuishi kuishi hicho tumesema you don't do to become you do because you have already become na kwa hivyo unapoamini sasa unaanza kwa sababu kuna watu wanaamini wao ni wana wa Mungu lakini hawaishi hivyo na nilisema kuna wakati nilifunza hapa nikasema ya kwamba mambo haya huja na mambo kadhaa huja na privileges huja na obligations huja na regulations ya kwamba kila kitu ambacho Mungu ametu, ametufanya tuwe kimetupatia vitu speciali vitu vizuri vya kufurahia na pia vimetupatia majukumu ya kutekeleza na pia vimetupatia masharti ya kufuatilia. Na kwa hivyo hii level ya kuishi ni kujiuliza ni privilege gani ambayo nimepewa? Praise the name of the Lord. When I walk into a meeting that I know where I'm supposed to sit and I'm supposed to sit on the high table, I go and sit on the high table. Praise the name of the Lord. Because I know that is where I'm supposed to sit. But many of us don't want to leave the privileges that God has given us by virtue of our identity in him tunataka kukaa kule nyuma za zingine ni vizuri kujua Mungu anataka uishi maisha aina gani and then you yaishi hayo bwana asifiwe then kuna majukumu ni nini na nini nahitajika kufanya kama mimi ni mwana wa mtu fulani kuna kuna vitu havitarajiwi kwangu kuna maneno ambayo hayatarajiwi kuzungumzwa. Watoto wangu wanajua kuna maneno ambayo hawezi toka kwa vinywa vyao. Hata wakienda wasikia watoto wengine wakisema hayo maneno, hawawezi kusema ya kwamba si fulani kama kwangu kija hauwezi kuita mtu mwingine mjinga. Hata halitajagwi mtu akilitaja na kujaga na abu dadi, fulani alisema lile neno baya, maana haliwezi kutajwa. 
Dadi, unajua jiana alitaja ile neno baya. Hawezi kuniambia alisema hii ni lile neno ba. Maana hata haliwezi kutajwa. Praise the name of the Lord. Na kwa hivyo hata wakienda na huko nje wasikia wengine wakitana wakitana waki... wao hawawezi tena maana wanajua sisi ni watoto wa Warue na kwa Warue hakuita nabi hii. Kwa hivyo ukijua identity yako wewe ni mtoto wa Mungu. Kuna mambo mengine hayafanyagwi na watoto wa Mungu. Kuna presence zingine haziendagwi na watoto wa Mungu. Watoto wengine wote wanawezaenda lakini watoto wa Mungu hawaendagi huko. Watoto wengine wanaweza fanya mambo hivyo lakini watoto wa Mungu hawafanyagi mambo hivyo. Praise the name of the Lord. Tukiwa kazini, tuende pate ya job. Watoto wa watu wengine wote wanaweza kunywa mvinyo, wanaweza kufanya maneno yote, wanaweza kuingia kwa dance floor wa dance, wanaweza kushikana shikana vile wanataka, lakini maana mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu. Kwetu kama watoto wa Mungu hatufanyagi hivyo kwa asifiwe hiyo ni levo ya living hiyo ni levo ya kuishi hiyo identity ni levo ya kutekeleza kile ambacho umefahamu wewe dicho ulicho katika ufalme praise the name of the lord then the final the third the, the fifth level nikimaliza is the level of bathing ni levo ya kuzaa wengine walio na dna kama yako ni levo ya kuzaa wengine wanaofanya mambo kama wewe ni levo ya kuzaa wengine ambao wana convictions kama zako. Ni levo ya kuwazaa wengine katika ufalme. Praise the name of the Lord. Unawaleta katika ufalme, unawapata there are two levels katika katika bathing. Ni unakuta muumini ambaye ako na baridi ya, ya imani. Mambo haya haya mwingi. Haamini, ako na uoga una mdisciple biblia inasema una mstaa praise the name of the lord mpaka unapata amekuwa na ujasiri na saa zingine it's okay unasikia mtu akisema mimi kabla nikutana na waroe mimi kabla nikutana na pastor kamau nilikuwa naogopaka sana hata sigesimama mbele ya watu hata sigesema no hata sige shidana na, na temptations lakini tumetembea na yeye tumetembea na yeye sasa nasikia nikiwa na ujasiri praise the name of the lord maana manifesting christ the light ile ingine ni, ni kuhubiri ni ku evangelize unapata mtu ako katika ulimwengu wa dhabi unamhubiria anazaliwa katika ufalme anapozaliwa katika ufalme unamlea kiroho anasimama anatembea na ujasiri it is called the level of bathing praise the name of the lord na ni ngumu kuzaa if you are not living it praise the name of the lord ni ngumu kuzaa kama hauishi ni ngumu kuzaa kama haujui and that is why kuna watu wanaokoka na wanaokoka na DNA yao inakuwa iko na shida kwa sababu walio waleta katika imani na walio walea katika imani wao walikuwa na shida na bad, badala ya kuwalea vile wawe vile Kristo alivyo they just transferred shida zao kwa watoto wao mzazi anazaa mtoto na yeye mzazi ako na shida fulani na anatransfer hiyo shida kwa mtoto and therefore lazima sisi tujifanyie kazi hata tunapo wafanyia kazi wengine sisi tu, tu, tu perfect tu, tu, tujaribu tuwezavyo to conquer this flesh so that when we birth children the dna they have is the dna of conquering praise the name of the lord the level of knowledge the level of understanding the level of believing the level of living and the level of bathing children that have an identity like yours children that can speak boldly like you praise the name of the lord and that is why i love mentorship that is why i love mentorship because mentorship allows you to walk with people unajua naweza kuwa na nawahubiriaga hapa nawahubiria hapa but hakuna hiyo personal touch lakini wale watu na mentor wako na we have some personal touch na wao kuna safari tunatembea na wao kuna mazungumzo tunazungumza kila siku kuna maswali tunaulizana kuna kitu wanaona kwangu kuna kitu naona kwao narekebisha and so at the end of the day if there are children who are and that is why they call me daddy you know all, almost all the people i mentor call me daddy is because i'm bathing i'm bathing children i'm bathing children who may be totally different in terms of doing things praise the name of the lord 
But they, you know, like my daughter Purity has my DNA because I'm her father. Praise the name of the Lord. Na tunafanana sana. Hata watu wakutana wanasamaka. Huyu hawezi, huyu huwezi kujificha huyu. Tunafanana sana because she has my DNA. But me, I'm an accountant. Me, I love numbers. I love social sciences and humanities. She is a scientist. And a peda science. And a peda engineering. And a, his or his one a peda. So, she is, an, she is a unique individual pursuing her unique areas, but she carries my DNA. And that is the beauty of mentorship, that we are not reproducing, I'm not, I'm not reproducing an accountant. I'm not reproducing a, 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 a pastor. I'm not, I am nurturing I'm nurturing a DNA of confidence. I'm nurturing a DNA of purpose. I'm nurturing a DNA of fearing God and walking in his ways. I'm nurturing a DNA of minding what God thinks about me and what he desires me to do. So I'm not nurturing activities. I'm not making them to become me. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is what each and every one of us should do. And last year when we had the theme of growth, one of the sermons in Ilieta Hapa towards the last quarter of the year is, is, is I asked, who are you? Who are you growing? Who are you helping grow? Who are you nurturing? Paul is telling Timothy, the things you have had and seen in me, in the presence of many people, commit those things to other reliable and faithful men that they may also praise the name of the Lord. So manifesting Christ is birthing children of faith who carries the same DNA that you carry. And my hope is that your DNA is not a weak DNA. Bona sifiwe. Situsimame tuwabe tuwedere sadi. Sita waweka business meeting so don't worry. Lakini nasemaka hivyo warafu ni nawaweka. Ni wewe tu bwana, ni wewe tu. saw him, he saw a son. Father, I pray that you'll help us to understand that no matter what we are going through, you see us as you have made us. That we may be able to see ourselves in the lenses through which you see us. To the glory and to the honor of your name. We thank you, our Father. We give you glory and we give you honor because you are our King and there is none as you are. Father, we thank you. I'd like to pray with you. 
you have a request before God. It's evident that the Lord is doing miracles in this place. Na hata siku ya leo you tayari kutenda muujiza. You tayari kuponya walio wagojwa. Yes. You tayari kufungua milango ambayo imefungika. You tayari kuinua walio chini. You tayari kutengeneza njia mahali ambapo hapana njia. Yes. Kwa imani tu inua mkono wako ukimwamini atatenda muujiza katika maisha yako. Jesus. Na ni Mungu mwaminifu. Father yes. we thank you. Asante kwa sababu ya wanao walio inua mikono yako Bwana. Wanatarajia miujiza katika maisha yao. Ni wewe wanayetazamia. Na wewe ni Mungu mtenda miujiza. Umetuambia tukiamini utatenda. And that is why we are believing you for great things in our lives. Walio wagojwa na waombea uponyaji wa wakati huu na sasa. Jehova waponye. Ambao Jehova maisha yao wanasema wanataka inyoroshwe. Wanasema there is confusion. Hawajui ni njia gani waelekee. Some of them finances imekuwa chini. They are wondering will this year be this way. I speak your favor upon their lives. I speak you in their lives. Na naomba kama vile walivyo wanao that protect the privileges of who you've become. May you come through for them. May you answer the prayer of each and every person to the glory and to the honor of your name. We know that you will continue receiving great testimonies of the miracles that you're doing in our midst as you revive us to the glory and to the honor of your name. We therefore receive an answer for every prayer represented by a lifted hand in the name of Jesus Christ, yes. our Lord and our Savior. Amen. 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 Unaweza kuwa na mtu ambaye haja ukoka na ungetaka kuokoka siku ya leo. There is that opportunity. Ndio tu mkono wako. Huja ukoka na unasema leo ndio nataka niokoke. Anybody? Kama hakuna, Bwana wabariki sana. Oh yeah, thank you. Amen, amen. Pigia Yesu makofi. Pigia Yesu makofi. Anybody else akitaka kuokoka siku ni opportunity. Eh, tu mama alafu anakuja. Amen. Let us pray for Let us pray for Sarah. Mwambie Bwana ambariki amtende mema. Samehe dhambi zake just kneel down nikuombe. Sema Bwana Yesu. kitabu cha uzima maisha yake sasa ni yako yes. mpatie ushidi katika kila hali oh yes. mjengee ukuta wa kumulida shetani azimkaribie naomba ya kwamba umbariki yes. na yote hayafanyayo uyabariki wote walio wa familia yake wabarikiwe oh yes. kwa sababu leo amekuamini na kwa maana wokovu huu si wake peke yake yes. ni wake na jamii yake hata na wao waombea wokovu O oh, Bwana uwalete kwako katika jina la Yesu. Mpatie nguvu za Roho Mtakatifu. Oh, yes. Sitakazo muwezesha kusema la yes. kwa mambo yote yasiyo kupendeza oh, yes. na kutembea katika jia zako katika jina la Yesu. Yes. Mpatie marafiki, yes. watu wa karibu oh, yes. watakao tembea na yeye na kumsaidia kushida katika hii safari. Wakiri pamoja na yeye yes. ya kwamba ameokoka leo yes. katika jina la Baba la mwana na la roho mtakatifu amen 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 amen, amen, amen. ah naishi na hapo
wa kina wamudhama akaribishwe na watu wa huko kwa kina wamudhama mama viona yuko ama eh oh eh mkaribisha sana Okay, okay, yani meabiwa ni sister in law wa Mudhama eh? Yes. Ama ama nimeabiwa ni Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hata Mudhama anataka kuokoa. Amen. Pigia hey. yes to my coffee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus we give you praise. We worship you Jesus. Oh, we give you praise.
Bwana Yesu na waombea hawa dada ambao walikuwa ndani yako. Na sasa wamekiri ya kwamba wangetaka kurejea. Yes. Wapokee katika nyumba yako. Yes. Wavishe vazi lako la utukufu. Yes, Wavishe pete yako ya wokovu. Oh, yes. Waongoze katika jia zako. Yes, Wapatie ushindi katika maisha yao. Waishi na wadumu kwako siku yes. bila mwisho. Yes. Katika jina la Baba, la Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. 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 Yes. Wapokelewe, wapokelewe kwa jina la Yesu. I hope that somebody will stay in note. Thank you, thank you Lord. Tutakapokamilisha, tafadhali hao wote wasiondoke na najua kwamba Mungu atatenda maajabu. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. I told you there is a fire of revival. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Yes. Unajua kuna wakati mwingine na niliwaambia kwamba the other side I told you that you would rather not hear the prophetic word yes. than hear it and doubt it. I said there is a fire of revival that is cutting across this place. Amen. That is cutting across this place. And ukiachwa nyuma it will be unfortunate. Na kama umeachwa there is a lot of catching up to do but there is still an opportunity. One way of ensuring that you don't you are not left behind is that mikutano yote ambayo unge unaweza kufika don't miss. Don't miss this year. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Because there is a fire of revival that is cutting across. Mimi nimekuwa nikiombea mudhama sana. Sana mimi nimekuwa nikimuombea sana. Najua wengine wako wanajua haja wako lakini mimi niko najua na niko namuombea sana. And I'm glad that the Lord is doing it. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Hallelujah. Tuketi tuingie katika business meeting. Ili 